All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm on my PSP 2000 right now that I just rebuilt, and uh, the remote joy light isn't working. I re reinstalled it and everything, so I'm, I'm going to try and get down to the bottom of why it's not working. I think something might have been flashed wrong last time I installed the firmware, so uh, yeah. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you how to uh, update your custom firmware. Uh, with the uh, new 660ME 1.5 this is the light custom firmware and the permanent custom firmware so I'm going to be installing the permanent because I have 2000 version 1 model so uh, if you have um, a 2000 version 2, 3000 or PSP Go the light ME which is this file right here it's 660LME uh, 1.5 this is what you're going to want to use let's take a real quick look at this real quick for all you PSP, uh, fucking, uh, you, you PSP 1000 and 2000 version 1 users, and you're just going to see the release 660LME, open that up, you're just going to see the PSP and the LEDA, and there you're going to see the game, the launcher and installer, basically what you're going to do is you're going to install it first, and then launch the custom firmware, so this will flash the custom firmware to the flash, and then if you ever reboot your system then just uh, use the launcher again it'll launch it right up the LEDA basically you gotta just put the LEDA PRX and the SE plugins and in the VSH text document write MS0 colon slash SE plugins slash LEDA dot PRX space one and if you're using system storage on the PSP Go it's EF0 so uh, that's the light custom firmware which I will show how to install that in another video and give a quick run up of the the uh, permanent custom firmware in that video so we're all even nice ready to go so uh, going to the permanent custom firmware you're going to double click and open that up if not right click on it if you have if you don't have an extraction program and extract to your desktop you're going to see the release 660ME open that up you're going to see the update translate LEDA and all this readme shit so uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this PSP in USB mode real quick stupid scan thing is going to come up right there <laughs> continue without scanning alright let's uh, pick up the pace a little bit here go to my removable drive for the PSP open up the PSP folder and open up the game folder what you're gonna do if you have an update folder in there delete it please and thank you you're not gonna need it all you're gonna do is take the update folder from here and drag and drop that into the PSP game folder let that copy over like so shouldn't take very long at all and you're gonna see the LEDA folder what you're gonna do is open that up go back and uh, you're gonna go back one more time to the memory stick root and you're all gonna open up your SE plugins folder if you don't have one right click and select new folder and call it SE plugins all in lowercase letters and then simply what you're gonna do is take the LEDA.PRX and drag and drop that into the PSP's SE plugins folder and uh, if you have one there already, move to replace it, please, to do the whole update thing. That's what we do. And then open up your VSH and make sure you have written in there. Um... Oh, no, wrong one. Not that one. Game. That's what it's going to be. My mistake. The game text document, not the VSH document. So remember that from the beginning of the video also if you're watching this for light custom firmware. It's the game text document. I apologize. Make sure you have written in the MS0 colon slash SE plugin slash LEDA dot PRX space one. As you can see, fucking right click thing would work. Thank you. Right there. MS0 colon slash SE plugin slash LEDA dot PRX space one. Make sure you have that written in the game text if you're using the PSP Go again. Uh, well, not for this firmware, because this is the permanent one, but on the light custom firmware, it's EF0 if you're using the system storage. So exit that and save it, and you can exit that now, and what we're going to do now is just get out of USB mode. And I'm going to come over here to the game, <coughs> and you're going to see update version 6.60, the minimum edition. I'm going to start that up. Yada yada yada. I really wish I could just do this with the remote joy. Alright, so then you're going to see uh, the 6.60 installer for hackable PSP. 
Changes added a 199 by 99 CPU clock and fixed a bug in the VSH menu and save configuration. Press X to start the update. So start the update, it's going to flash all that shit. Then it's going to restart in 6 seconds. I don't know why. And then pick 5. Because 5 wasn't, you know, enough. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done. <sighs> Remote Joy still refuses to work. But if you go to your system settings and go to your system information, you should have 6.60 ME 1.5 for your custom firmware. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I'm going to do it for your benefit just because I like to show people. There it is. 6.60 ME 1.5. And that's that. I will make a video on the light custom firmware on PSP. 2000 version 2, version 3, 3000s, and PSP Go. So uh, stay tuned for that. And um, also, I'm going to show the permanent God custom firmware on the PSP 2000. If I can ever get this fucking Remote Joy to Light version to work. And I just called it Remote Joy to Light. I don't know why. I'm very tired. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Again, uh, my apologies for the Remote Joy Light not working in this video. For some strange reason, it won't work with this PSP, but it works with every other one. So I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, yeah, so take it easy, guys. Enjoy your new custom firmware. I will have the links for these on the download and the information below. Uh, any questions, leave me a comment. You know the drill. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my website and blog, and I'll see you guys later.